<clears throat> Hi, welcome back to Hook It's a Lifestyle. Today I am turning these shirts into yarn, to t-shirt yarn, and I thought I would turn on the camera and show you how I do it. Now these t-shirts are not ideal for yarn because it has these logos on them already. This stuff here. So this one is perfect because it has nothing on it. So it's it will stretch out the way it's supposed to on like these this part of the shirt. I'll show you once I'm done with it. But it won't stretch out as much, but it still could be used. So I'm gonna use it. So I'm just gonna show you with this t-shirt here what I'm gonna do. So the first thing you have to do is cut it. So you will need a a ruler, a rotary color cutter, or a pair of scissors. You can do this without these two items here. You can just do it with a pair of scissors. But I'm gonna be using my ruler and my mat here for measuring and my rotary color cutter. I don't know why I keep getting that word wrong. <laughs> wrong. Alright, so let's see we in frame here. Back up a little bit. So you can see the whole shirt. So all I'm gonna do, it's not a perfect thing, just I'm not sure what I'm gonna make yet. I just wanna get it ready for when I'm ready to make something. And I'm just gonna take my rotary color cutter. Again, I said it wrong. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna start from one end, cutting from one end to the other. I'm just gonna hold down on my ruler like this, my measuring ruler, so it doesn't move. Just cut straight across. Now with this part here, you can turn this into t-shirt yarn if you just cut off the neck and the sleeves. You can also turn that into yarn, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna turn this around. I'm going to cut this part of the, the shirt as well, just like that. Now we lay it down like this on the measuring mat because we're going to cut off one inch strips and this is so it could be a continuous um, strand of yarn, of t-shirt yarn. I'm going to show you how to do that by, just move this up a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to cut from this end up at about two inches away from the top so I'm going to stop two inches away so I'm just gonna cut up to here from here to here and continue to do that on the shirt so I'm just gonna put my measuring ruler here so I could mark one inch and just cut up till about right there and then just do the same thing again mark one inch and just cut up to right about right right there see that and then we do it again and we keep doing this till we get across the whole t-shirt Okay, so now that we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this part, the one where we didn't cut, I'm going to open it up, just like so, like this. Just lay it on your table like that. And what you want to do is start cutting from this end, 
with your scissors. There's a good pair of <coughs> fabric scissors. And I'm going to cut this end first. Just like that. See that? And then so it could be continuous yarn without cutting every strip. You're going to cut from this part here to this part here. I hope that makes sense. Just like so. And you continue to do that for every strand. Make sure you're not cutting on the other side of the t-shirt. So you can lay your ruler, ruler like this on top. And I mean between the sh shirt. So you don't cut the other side of the shirt. I'm going to continue to do this to get to the other side. And then I'll show you how to roll it up. Almost here at the end. And here, this is the last one you want to cut. The last that you can see. In order to keep it attached, you go on this side and cut this way. This last one. So if you were right handed, I'm left handed, so you will be on the right spot. And as you can see, it's still all attached. So now, what you want to do is take one end of it, this end here, and just stretch on it. And continue to do that. Just like that. And when you get to the part where there's the logo of the t-shirt, or well, that patch that they lay on the t-shirt as you can see it doesn't roll up as well as the rest of the t-shirt but that's okay let me bring you up so you can see when I stretch it out see how it stays unstretched and that's fine I'm fine with that if you wanted to do this with just a t-shirt that doesn't have any of this stuff so it could be a better yarn you can do that but I'm alright because these shirts has been sitting around not fitting my son for a long time. And I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with it. And I've decided on some t-shirt yarn and maybe I can make a rug or something. See this part here? I'm fine with that. Because I'm going to be using a, a hook to make my rug. And what I want the rug for is to put in front of my my door for when it snows we could just step on um, that rug to clean our feet and it will be easy to wash just throw it into your washer machine and it will wash easily because it's t-shirt yarn so there we go so stretched out and now to roll it we have to do is take two fingers like so, roll it a couple of times like that around your two fingers, remove it from your two fingers and then just roll, keep rolling like so. Then you keep turning on it, just like that, keep turning. Keep turning. like that turn again I'm trying to move my finger out of the way you can see I'm just turning as I go with my my hand it's at a point where you could just go keep going and turning as you go.
and that's it and you have yourself some t-shirt yarn so I'm gonna continue to cut my shirts and turning them into some t-shirt yarn anyway guys that is how you make yarn out of shirts old shirts that you're not using just go in your closet see if you have any that you don't need and turn them into some yarn and make some rugs or whatever you want to make you can even make socks or slippers with them so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video